Uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm Mathieu and I'm going to show a quick uh, optimization, exploring optimization on some weird uh, C++ code. Okay. So uh, this is uh, a not really good uh, is even function. Uh, if it, yeah, you should not try this in a technical interview. I don't. I think you would fail. Uh, obviously, there is a, a constant uh, complexity one with a modulo, and this one this one is linear in the number n. So actually, I found this on the, the subreddit uh, programming or so it was funny and stuff. And someone actually tried to compile it. And well, that's the result. Uh, GCC uh, compiled it to like the straightforward loop, but uh, Clang is actually able to get a constant time algorithm out of this. So I was a bit curious uh, how, which uh, optimization phases were able to get this constant uh, assembly code. So actually, I started from uh, without any optimization flag to try to explore them by, by myself. So, well, I guess all of you know about this uh, memory to register and instruction combined phases. So I've, I've, I don't show the first, uh, the basic uh, LVM IR because it's a bit uh, too big. There is a bunch of Aloka instruction and stuff, so it's, uh, it's a bit boring. But th this is the result after applying memory to register and instruction combined. Um, after those two instruction, uh, after the two phases, you see that uh, it looks fairly similar to the GCC assembly. So there is uh, two variables, 0, 1, which is, um, which current respond to a number compare, and there is a, uh, the variable uh, 0 with the phi node, uh, and which is a byte. So this one com correspond to the result, uh, the Boolean result even. And you see that it's doing the comparison, and then it's going to loop. If it's not over, it's continuing. So it's basically the same algorithm uh, as the C++ one. And then, if you actually add this phase, which is called the canonicalized induction viable pass phase, uh, yeah, you see in this one uh, that actually now everything is a bit different. Uh, if you look, oh man, okay. It's, the old slide, that's fine. Okay, this is a, uh, this is not the actual result. Uh, I shared my slide, so it's not the good, <laughs> the, good, the good one. That's fine. So actually, if you add the canonicalize uh, instruction pass, um, this is the definition of the, of the pass. It says that uh, if you use an expression, and actually the value of an expression outside the loop is directly derived from an induction variable, uh, the phase is supposed to be able to get the derived expression out of the loop and just write it as a constant expression. So actually what the phase is able to realize is that the even variable here, the Boolean, is actually just initial and then it's uh, multiplied that by minus one a number of times. So it's actually uh, initial times minus one to the power of number. So it's a obviously constant expression. Uh, it's just dependent on initial and number. So obviously it could be a single instruction. Uh, this phase, it's actually, uh, Clang is able to understand that uh, this uh, loop is useless and can be just replaced by this expression, starting from release 3.6. And actually I've tried to look at the, in, inside the, the C++ code of Clang to, to look at which exact uh, part of the code base is able to figure this out and I haven't yet found it, so if any of you uh, know which exact part of the code base is able to figure this out, I would be interested. Uh, maybe one of you guys has actually written this uh, canonicalized phase. So yeah, uh, that's an open question, and I would like to know more. <laughs> who, write, who, who are the code between release 3.5 and 3.6, which is a actually able to fix this? Okay, and actually this, uh, this talk is a kind of a joke, so please uh, don't expect a client to be able to always optimize uh, your bad code. So if someone asks you to write a good easy even function, please uh, use the modular one and don't uh, write a linear loop and ask client to do the job for you. And that's it.